what happens to the matters the contents of a neutron star after it gets after it collides and gets destroyed with another neutron star because as we know uh, matter is neither created nor destroyed yes you're right there is conservation of mass and energy in the universe so what happens when two neutron stars collide so it depends on the total mass of these two neutron stars first of all these are extraordinarily compact objects you have the mass of the entire sun within a diameter of about 10 kilometers so that's extraordinarily compact these are the most these are the densest objects in the universe apart from black holes so that's what neutron stars are now the maximum neutron star mass is defined by the tolman oppenheimer volkoff limit which says that a neutron star has between 1.5 to about 3 solar masses i think the average or the yeah approximately the average there it's not a very definite limit but the uh, it seems that the upper limit is up to 3 most likely 2.2 or 2.3 solar masses and beyond that if a neutron star gets has more mass than that then it, then it becomes a black hole so when two neutron stars collide, first of all, there's going to be a cataclysmic collision and a great deal of energy will be radiated out in the form of gravitational waves and light. And some matter will be ejected out of this collision. So what happens where is that a great deal of heavy elements are created when two neutron stars collide. For example, in a large star, more than... 25 times the solar mass, you have these core collapse supernovas. And this supernova happens when the star starts trying to fuse iron at its core. And iron is basically nuclear ash. You can't fuse iron. Stars cannot fuse iron. And that's why they undergo these supernovas. So the heaviest element that a star can create is essentially iron. But we know that there is there are heavier elements in the universe. You have gold, for example. You have uh, uranium and various other heavier elements. So how are these elements synthesized? And the answer is they are synthesized in neutron star, neutron star collisions. So these neutron star, neutron star collisions throw out a lot of ejecta and debris. And these are in the form of extremely heavy elements like gold and uranium and, and thorium and other elements. So that's what happens. But the resultant neutron star that is formed after the collision it is it a neutron star is it something else that's the question and that depends on this limit the tolman oppenheimer volkov limit so if the resultant object has a mass of greater than around three solar masses then it becomes a black hole otherwise it becomes a larger neutron star so that is what happens when two neutron stars collide now, now that's a very energetic collision and it uh, produces an intense flash of radiation in various uh, frequencies and spectra. If it happens near the Earth, it can blind you, basically. That's how energetic the light output is. So that, in short, is what happens during and after a neutron star, neutron star collision.